guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited that you're here um, if you have not already don't forget to like and subscribe on the video um, so you don't miss any of my future uploads but for now let's just go ahead and get into the video so you guys just watched a little bit of Dixie's um, like growing up so we got her when she was eight weeks old in October um, I believe it was like October 9th or 10th she got to come home and she was born on August 15th so she was a little bit shy of eight weeks old she is a toy Australian Shepherd so if you guys do not know what that is it's just a very very small version of an Australian Shepherd so they usually range in size from about 10 to 15 pounds she weighs in right now right at about 12 and a half she's up to date on all of her puppy shots and she has been spayed um, we did that like last month and she did really well with it most puppies do bounce back pretty quick from that kind of a surgery um, she has like a little shaved spot still from where they did have to cut some of her hair to do that but it's growing back good and she's super healthy very well um, well recovered from her surgery she does super super well with all of my parents dogs so my parents have four dogs and we come home to their house quite regularly that's where we are right now um, and we will be here for like a week or so more um, she does well with them she likes to play with all of them she does have quite a bit of car anxiety so she's not a fan of the car she used to get car sick we do have her on a medication now that is helping with that and it's called Xylkeen I believe is how you say it. it's Z Y L E N E and it is meant to help calm anxiety in animals it is a herbal supplement so it's not something that you even have to have a prescription for and it's very mild so it doesn't affect her um, development and stuff because we have been told by vets that like they cannot go on regular anti-anxiety medicine at such a young age so we're trying this out and it seems to be going pretty well so far fingers crossed it keeps working that way we also got her a car like carrying bin so it basically is like a bin that she goes in and it straps around the back of the seat in the car so that she feels more secure because like if you're stopping and going in a car and they just have their dog bed they can feel um, insecure with like stopping and going they can like jerk forward and backwards but this holds them in place so that they feel more comfortable and less anxious about the car ride because they are in a more secure like seat it's almost like a seat belt for dogs but they aren't like actually strapped in anything they're just in something that is strapped in as far as potty training goes she seemed to be very very easy to potty train it is an advantage that we do have other dogs living here so she is able to model that behavior but she potty trained very very easily all we had to do was take her out there um, tell her to go and praise her a lot and when she did so if you are struggling potty training your dog the best thing to do is positively reinforce them when they do good things and stand outside with them until they are done so that you make sure that they have all of their restroom meets outside and then keep them on a schedule I tended to do every hour hour and a half when she was younger now she goes about every three hours just because she is a lot more potty trained and her bladder is bigger now um, but definitely start with a puppy at about an hour hour and a half mark every hour hour and a half they need to be outside going to the bathroom if you guys are interested in hearing any of my like tips for new dog owners training tips the things that you really need when you get a dog um, just let me know in the comments below because I'd love to make those videos for you guys if you're interested and so Dixie is an ESA so an emotional support animal so she does live on campus with me and she acts um, a little bit different at home versus at school just because she has um, dogs to play with here and at school she's very much like an only dog she does pretty well with other dogs and elevators she gets a little bit anxious with big dogs um, just because our only big dog at home is very old so she's not very intimidating um, so she's just not used to being around big dogs very much but she loves meeting all the people in the elevator so if you go to the University of Kentucky and you ever see us on campus don't hesitate to stop us and you can pet her because she loves pet getting pet by people she's just all about the attention so if you guys don't know um, Australian Shepherds actually come in a lot of different colors um, so she is considered a black tri so she has what are you doing? Hi. so she has white black and then like a fawn tan color uh, on her and I really like that she has this super cute little like 
star on the back of her neck here it's just very identifying factor their fur is so soft she also doesn't shed a ton because I do brush her every other day to keep the shedding down so if you're getting a dog like this that has an undercoat the brushing that you do is so essential to keep your house from getting overrun with dog hair she has this little brush um it's like very small because she's a small dog and we don't want to have too big of one it takes about five minutes i do it every other day and she has minimal shedding like i have white bedding and she has black fur and there's not really much here and i haven't cleaned my bedding in like a week and a half so it's very minimal shedding as long as you groom them properly she gets a bath about once every week or two so basically just like to keep her clean if she does get car sick obviously we give her a bath but she typically has not been in the past few weeks um knock on wood hopefully that continues i'm really hoping that she's kind of growing out of that phase finally one of the strangest things but so cool that she does is she actually likes to blow bubbles in like glasses of water so like she likes to drink out of a cup with me sometimes when i have water and we have these low ball glasses and she will stick her nose in them and blow bubbles i have a video that i'm going to insert right here for you guys to see it's not the greatest angle to be able to see it but you can hear the bubbles and kind of see her stick her face in so i'm going to go ahead and insert that kitty i can't see anything kitty baby Dixie, look look at this Get it. Oh, <laughs> put it on. <laughs> Come on. What the heck, what dog? <laughs> is it like she's trying to? So, is that not the cutest thing that you've ever seen? It cracks me up every single time. But overall, from having her for the last six months or so since we've gotten to get her home, her personality is the cutest thing I've ever seen. She is such like a quirky dog and it's so funny. She's so alert. She literally will bark at the mirror if she sees herself in it and doesn't recognize herself. There was a video clip at the beginning that showed her doing that and it is so funny, except it's kind of annoying sometimes when she wakes me up at uh, 5 a.m. barking at her reflection in the mirror. But most of the time it's really cute and she's already so well trained for being only seven and a half months old. She'll be eight months on April 15th and I'm so excited to see her grow and develop into such a good dog. She already knows how to sit, stay, lay down. She's very good about no. She almost understands like full sentences when you're talking to her. So we could, I could say, Dixie, it's bedtime and she'll get into the bed and it's just so cool. They're very like understanding of what you're saying which is something i haven't ever experienced with another breed of dog so if that's something that you want like if you want a dog that actually engages in conversation almost obviously they can't talk back to you but like pays attention then this is a good dog breed to go with she's so like engaged in a com in what you're saying so literally she can see my parents on facetime and they can talk to her and she'll tilt her head to the side and then to the other side and she recognizes who they are and I just think that's so cool because none of our other dogs have ever done that. They just kind of ignore it and she like understands what's going on. So she's extremely, extremely smart and I'm so excited to work with her some more this summer and get her trained on all the cool tricks that I want her to be able to do. So when that happens, I would love to show you guys the progress that we've made. But for now, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. It really helps me out on hitting my goals. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the start of the next term. So if you guys wanna help me out with reaching that goal, it would be super great. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.